We're here at Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona, where a big theme has been regulatory change in Europe. We're here with the EU's Head of Digital Strategy, Commissioner Nelly Cruz, who's just been meeting with the bloc's top telecom CEOs. Commissioner, talk us through how the meeting went. Um, it is um, an experience to sit together with um, all the European big flyers, so to say, and uh, getting um, not only the information from every one individual, but they are reacting on each other. And um, the conclusion that I got from that meeting is that they are all like quite a number of other companies um, in uh, stormy weather, and that we badly need healthy uh, telecom operators, uh, and that we uh, badly need um, those companies that are also developing new services for that uh, that high-speed broadband, for example, and that the will is there, and that they are also more and more in favor, and today was quite surprising. They were pleading for one single telecom market. Wow, so that's a real change in the mood in Europe now. Yeah, when when I compare that with a couple of years ago, no way that this could be uh, discussed and certainly not out of their uh, mouth. Great. So tell us what comes next. Uh, what are you guys going to be presenting and what do the CEOs need to do from their side? Well, um, it, it is... Um, a repeating story is a type of mantra from my side. I always say we badly need um, a healthy uh, telecom uh, network. We, we badly need a, a single telecom market because it is instrumental for so many other services and products in our uh, society. So, um, and that I believe in uh, competition fair level playing field, so to say, but that it doesn't mean that only competitors out of other parts of the world are getting opportunities. Having said that, we are going to continue this discussion. We will certainly get those issues to councils and what they are doing going to their own governments and to their own heads of state in just giving not only the latest information but also their way of what is at stake with a real single European market. Great. And tell me about the Commission's wireless action plan. Um, that, that will be yeah, presented next month, so that is uh, a week from now nearby, and <clears throat> that will indeed give a lot of opportunities, and I'm anxious to uh, present that, and I will certainly be back. Great. And could we even be looking at a single European regulator in the future? Um, at the end of the day, when you are not asking me for a date, uh, then uh, certainly, for, of course, if we are talking about one single market, uh, more efficiency, more effectiveness, more competitiveness, then it makes sense. And I'm not pleading for just skipping all the national regulators, mm -hmm. but who is doing what and how can we harmonize all those issues? And that, for example, is spectrum, but there's a lot of other issues. If we are aware that talking about certain security measures in certain member states is 100 times higher than in others. Um, it doesn't make sense, per definition, 100 times higher is better. So we have to make it harmonized, transparent, and uh, uh, predictable. Great. And one last question, because I can tell your voice is going. Um, which do you think should come first? More consolidation w within countries or, you know, at a European level, mergers and acquisitions? Um, I'm very much in favour for not limiting whatever mm -hmm. category. But I think we should indeed make the step forward and say if it is a single market, if we have single market rules and um, transparency, then it should be absolutely possible that it is not only ring fence within a member state, for we do have so many telecom operators, more than 250 uh, of them, or even more than that. Um, and uh, when you compare that with other parts of the world, it's not a guarantee that it's better for uh, the consumer. Nelly Cruz, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Francis Robinson in Barcelona.